Hi, I'm Laura from Advanced Tech Support, and in this session, I'll take you through the five easy steps to program a touch control. Step one, create a site by adding locations. For sites with multiple buildings, it's useful to break down the site by location. For example, one location per building. Locations are added by selecting Add from the Locations section in the top row of icons. Give the location a name and click OK. Step 2. Import plans. Images which are imported into the software are referred to as plans. These can be site plans, zone plans or drawings. Plans can be imported by selecting Add from the Plans section in the top row of icons. Select the image that you'd like to use and click Open and then OK. Step 3. Draw a hotspot onto the relevant plan. A hotspot is an area of a plan which will be highlighted on an activation from a zone. Hotspots are added by selecting Add from the Hotspots section in the top row of icons. Give the hotspot a name and select a colour that you'd like to be used for the hotspot. This colour will only be used on the software for your reference. When hotspots are highlighted on the touch control, red is used for fire and yellow is used for faults and disablements. You can then select the area that you want to use. To assign zones to the hotspot, Select Zones from the Hotspot settings and enter the zone range you'd like to use. Step 4. Link the hotspots to another plan. Linking a hotspot to another plan allows a hotspot to be pressed on the touch control, causing a different plan to be displayed on the screen. To link a hotspot, use the drop-down box in Hotspot settings to select the desired plan that you'd like to use. Step 5. Export the maps to a microSD card. Insert a microSD card into the PC, then select Deploy to Touch Control in the top row of icons to export the maps. Follow the instructions in the deployment wizard and click Finish when done. The microSD card can now be inserted into the touch control. Remember to damp power the touch control when inserting and removing the SD card. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit the Advanced 360 section of our website and download the product manual.